a group that is still under closure and identified as unknown gunmen responsible for attacks on the Nigerian police and soldiers in Anambra State has sent a message to Igwe Nnemeka Alfred Achebe, who is the B of Onicha, over the new security outfit that it has just launched. Certain informations and news have been recorded as gunmen kill six Nigerian police and naval officers and the attack seems to be increasing as the day goes by. Another officer was killed just a week to his wedding. These and many other attacks in the state had prompted the Igwe Achebe, the old or on the OB of Onicha to come up with a new security network that is set to help to control and curtail the ranging power of the bandits. Recall that Nambekanu had also issued a warning to the OB of Onicha telling him that he should not clash with the Eastern Security Network or else it would end in tears. The unknown gunman sent the OB of Onicha a letter and in the letter they clarified to him that he is just using his title to cover up his atrocities and to hinder the progress of the land. They also declared that he took the name OB of Onicha because he wants everything to be under his control as animals do, and which he is, as they said. Their words, UOB of Onicha has launched a new security outfit for we the unknown gunmen, but we want you, the OB of Onicha, to know that we are ready. We also want you to get ready, because when it starts, you will not be, I beg your pardon? Okay, because when it starts, you will not be able to bear the heat. We are coming for you and your family, and your family members as a whole. The gunmen said. They lastly advised those security men to go and ask the soldiers about them. The government has, ad has advised that children and adults should also be careful about their movement and where they go to because the society has lost its values. The question now is, who are these unknown gunmen? Where are they coming from? And what are their mission? I think this should put to rest the allegations that uh, the Eastern Security Network members are the uh, unknown gunmen. This should put that particular claims and allegations to rest, to the best of my understanding. This is my opinion, and I stand to be corrected, but it is what it is. You know, anybody who seems to, or who is, uh, or who have been claiming and accusing the Eastern Security Network of the activities of the unknown gunmen in Anambra State or the Southeast generally should by this be informed that it is not the Eastern Security Network members as the unknown gunmen have come out to uh, speak. They are yet to identify themselves, but they have written a letter threatening the OB of Onicha for launching the uh, security network Onicha Ado security network and outfit that the Igwe commissioned just days ago. Be that as it were, what are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? Who are these unknown gunmen and what exactly are their mission? The Igwe Achebe, the Obi of Odicha, revealed this letter that was written to him and probably he might be in fears as it were because the activities of the unknown gunmen in the southeast has been so much, has been raging. 
the activities of the unknown gunmen in the southeast has been uh, daring and has been so dangerous that people are not sure of what they want to do or, or who they are and what their capacities would be. But they certainly have been wrecking havoc. It is sad and unfortunate I stand to be corrected, but this is the truth. With what is going on in the country today, it shows to a very large extent that people are ready for whatever may come up. People are preparing themselves for eventualities. People are also taking steps to ensure that they are in charge and in control. But be that as it were, now that the Igwe Onicha has been threatened and the group unknown government has come out to, you know, make their own uh, identity or form their own identity as it were, though still enclosed, it remains to be seen what the government will do and what the OB of Onicha will also do in eventuality. But be that as it were, it is um, worthy of note that there is tension in the land. The Southeast is under intense pressure, under intense tension. And something has to be done to curtail these activities of these uh, unknown gunmen, as it were. The government has failed. The failure of the government to a very large extent is what has led the people to take up uh, the responsibility of protecting themselves. It is not easy, but it is what it is. What the people are going through in the Southeast is really, really creating serious concern and worry. And that was why uh, the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, had lashed out at politicians a few days ago that they should forget about 2023 elections that they are holding on to, that they are, they are running towards and secure themselves, secure their people first before chasing 2023. Because what is happening now in the country generally, no region is actually safe. No region is uh, left out of these activities. Every region is going through issues, challenges as it were. But be that as it is, I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. We keep our fingers to see how things will unfold on this particular issue. What the Igwe of Onicha will do, what his old people will do, uh, what the government will do concerning the threats. It is what it is. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.